we're still on um, the foundation paper. We're looking at question three now. So we've got a tally chart going here, and it's the number of bicycles owned by the families living in a small village. So calculate the frequency column. Well, we just got to add up the tally. So that's four, that's eight, five, ten, that's thirteen. This is six. This is ten, eleven, and then this is two. Now one little way you could check, or oh, you don't really know. Um, okay, so let's do that. But I would actually add the totals up. Just um, sometimes it tells you in the question it's a good check. So I might total these up. Just tap all the numbers into your calculator and you come out with 44. Okay, let's move on to B. How many families are there in the village? Okay, so well, I've already answered this because I've already added up my frequency column. So there are 44 families in the village. What is the modal number of bicycles? Well, something we've got to remember. The mode means the most frequent or the highest frequency or the most common. So let's have a look. The biggest one is 13, wasn't it the most frequent? So the modal number of bicycles was two, because most families own two more than any other fam uh, any other number of bicycles. So more families own two bicycles than any others. And one of these families chosen at random. So there's 44 families, they're all chosen, and one of them's chosen from all of them at random. Work out the probability that this family owns fewer than two bicycles. Well, fewer than two bicycles means that there's 12 people own zero or one bicycle. So fewer than two doesn't mean you're, means you're not allowed two, okay? Less than two means naught and one, but not to itself, okay? So we need to add up this column, I mean this row and this row, so we need to add up these two, so there's 12. You get one mark for that forgot to mark the one before, you get one mark for getting the 12, but it's a probability, so you need to do it uh, 12 out of the 44 families, and as it's a probability and it doesn't say, we can leave our answer like that. You can actually cancel it down if you really wanted to, and eventually you'd get the answer 3 11 but you don't need to cancel it down, and for probabilities uh, I probably wouldn't bother, I would just leave it, unless it says, I would just leave it like that. Okay, nice short, easy question.